Hello YouTube, this is Hoffman again and today I am very proud to show you my so far greatest creation. Uh, you see it right here, it's a binary decoder. It, to be fair, it's a 20-bit binary decoder into a decimal touch, a decimal screen here, which I attach, attached over here. The decoder itself is all the way from there over here to up here and uh, the screen is this one the inputs to the screen is right here so let, just let me show it working down here we have the 20 bit binary inputs and by activating different kinds of them we can create different numbers so for example if we want to sh make the number 32 shown on the screen we just click 32 and wait some seconds. You can see it's quite large, so it will take some seconds to show it. But there you go, 32 up on the screen. Then we go down here and say, if we want to say, let's say 50, we want to show 50. 16 plus 32, that's 40, 30, 48 plus 2, that should be 50. Then it just add the numbers together and perform 50. Right there you go. So, this is a 20 bit binary decoder. That means that the greatest number, the largest number you can create, actually is 2 to the power of 20 minus 1. I can just show you that. The largest number. Now the redstone is working. I'm not sure if you can l hear my computer, the uh, cooling mechanism in my computer, but yeah. Right here we go. 1,048,575. That's the largest number you can create with this one. And uh, uh, actually, you can create any number from 0 to this just by using the decoder. So yeah, I I won't really be talking about how I made this because that's way too complicated for me to explain in an easy way. You can see this. This is actually a combination of full adders. You can see in my one of my previous videos I showed you my vertical binary full adder, and this is actually literally thousands of them I've added together to perform this one. Oh yeah, here you see the bug. Because some of the... it's made... it's a piston screen you can see here. So because that some of it uh, updates too fast, you can see that it works like a T-flip-flop and just pushes the blocks out. You can avoid that by not taking off the levers so far as I did right there. But it, when you have an, let's say, calculator and the numbers coming in, it won't be affecting that in any way. I, I make sure of that. So, but yeah, here it is. It's not very small, actually. It's just as wide as the screen is, and it's two to three times as l long as the screen, but yeah that will do. You have a lot of space around you you can use to make the things you want to show up. Basically basically, it's numbers so it's very good at calculation and stuff like that so yeah thank you for watching and please rem comment subscribe and all the other stuff and just to give you something to see that's 640 26, that should be this one. Yeah. Just to show that it can also make some <laughs> fun with it, just creating, for example, number of the bees right there. Oh, Let's do another fun one. Um.
24 plus 256, that's 1280. Yeah, plus 32. Let me see how this go. It should change in a minute, a uh, second actually. 12. That's 24 we need now. Here you go, one three three seven lead. <laughs> yeah, just some fun numbers if you want to. But ma the main use for this is for calculating purpose, and I also developed it so I can create my calculator, and it's going to be able to show multiplication numbers of the because it's a uh, what I thing I want to do is making a free decimal number input fr uh, so free numbers here uh, and you can add subtract multiply or divide it by a free digit number here so you maybe you could say 965 plus uh, 246 for example so the maximum input from for my calculator with this one would be 999 times 999 that's why I need this big uh, decoder. But anyway, thank you for watching and please remember to comment, subscribe and all that thing you do. Thank you.